Hello everyone, hope everything is fine and everyone is safe and good. So this video will be a fast breakdown for my latest, latest project I did two days ago and I think it would be nice to show you the way I work with to make my project. So let's go. Okay, first of all, I made this model with this arch you can see from here and I just added the chair and the side table and a table chess on it let's go just like that and I added the floor lamp from here and I have an opening from here and four openings from here also and i added to the openings as usual the corona portal material and for the lighting i just added from the environment as you can see a corona sky by this setting the default setting okay and that's all what i did for the lighting here we have a uh, ceiling lamps pendant ceiling lamps and i used the sphere corona light with the intensity of 100 and with the temperature of 3500 the the warm temperature okay with the default settings I didn't change anything at all as simple as that so I will go to interactive and I'll show you the result for okay let's see here okay so I increased the highlight compress and increased the exposure level to 2 just like that and this is my scene that's all okay i will show you the render and it's just like that for the walls i used a normal diffuse color and in the bump and glossiness i just added a mask material from here you can see the same mask mask number 70 in the bump and the reflection glossiness so we can view that mask that's it and i had this result just like that to make it more real okay then I added a new uh, camera I will go to camera number two and from here and from here I enabled the depth of field and I changed the f-stop number to two so I'll show you the target let's go here you can see the target of the camera this is the target so everything in the atmosphere or the surrounding of the target will be focused and I will get this result from here. You can see the fabric here is focused and the wood is out of focus like the chest and the side table and a little bit the carpet. By the way, the carpet, I just added a material from the material library of Corona. Uh, I think it was, I think, let me check. Yeah, I used uh, carpets of drug dark gray which is this one so I used this material for the carpet and fixed the UV, UVW map 
just like that and I get this result. Now I added the third camera and I made some of the chests to be flying just like that and also I added depth of field I enabled the depth of field in the camera and I overwrite focus so from here you can choose the element you want to be focused on I think I yeah line 048 and from here you can see that the object I choose to be focused on is line 048 so and I change I put the f-stop number to 16 and I get this result you can see this is the main object that the focus is on and all other and the rest of the image is out of focus I'll go to camera number four and this is my favorite shot okay so I choose also to enable the depth of field and I choose to override focus on the chair so this pendant ceiling light will be out of focus and because I in increase the focus a lot to ratio 1 or uh, to the amount of 1 this closed uh, element uh, will, will, will make a bouquet effect just like this result you can see that the pendant light is out of focus because and I get this effect because of the large amount of the f-stop and you can see the effect of the material that I choose the focus on the uh, fabric of the chair and a little bit on the side table with the table of with the chest table so that's my uh, four shots for the project and that's the way I worked on now I will work with you on the post-production to finish our shots and I can share the project with you by the way the file will be available for you to download it and I'll put the link in the description okay I add this to here and I think I want this also I'll duplicate the main layer and I go for filter camera row filter and I'll play with the setting a little bit okay for and after I'll make a mask to erase the effect from this side of the wall SP I'll delete this Okay, before and after, I think everything is fine. I'll merge it and duplicate it. Again, I'll go for camera raw filter and I'll go for detail, add small amount just like that. I'll add limonous to decrease the noise level just like that. And I'll see before and after. okay it's fine everything is fine I think it's fine so I will save it as final one as a dpg or let's make it png image okay I will go to the second shot I'll take this Okay, this uh, masking ID render element I used for if I want to select anything in my scene to edit 
to edit it separately <laughs> and if we don't need it so we don't need it I'll go to sorry I'll go for camera filter again and that's it before and after from here okay i think i'll uh, make the opacity like to 75 okay that's fine i'll merge it and duplicate it again go for camera raw filter and go to amount to increase the sharpening okay let's see before and after and I think it's ready Final two. I'll go to here and I will add a white background here just like that. I'll duplicate this and go for camera filter. Okay, it's fine. Don't want to change anything. I'll save it as final three. And just like that. And go for the final image. And I'll repeat the same steps I made. Okay, I will change the opacity to 75. Uh, I think I will go to here and search for bouquet uh, PNG. Okay, I think I try this. I'll make it a screen. I think this is fine and that's all I'll save it as final 4 and PNG and I will see all my images together I'll wait it to save okay this is the first image, second image mm -hmm. let's see you can see that I don't make any major changes in the post-production, just a small contrast let's go for this Okay, little brighter here, little brighter here. Also, the carpet is brighter. Add some blur effects. And let's go for the first. Or oh, let's see this. Hmm. Yeah, also. So, I think I'm really satisfied with the result that I made with the easiest way you can work with no need for a uh, complicated methods no need for any uh, unnecessary lights i hope you like the project i'll share it with you 
uh, as soon as possible I hope you like this small fast breakdown whatever and I'll see you as soon as possible again thank you very much for your support please like this video and put your thoughts in the comment box I'll be listening for you waiting for you uh, you can send me your messages on Instagram or Facebook to ask me anything you want you can ask me to make any video about any topic you want I'll be more than happy to help any one of you so thank you for watching and see you next time goodbye